What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo and we are back for our final 10 battles of the Battle of Hoenn online player competition. Man, I made that sound really uh, much more serious than it is, but this is a really fun competition. I managed to post one battle yesterday and now I'm hopefully going to be able to do uh, the next set of my battles here. So, of course, yesterday uh, for my 20th battle, a zoom rule actually ended up getting two KOs with an assist from my Breloon. And Breloon got the other kill. I didn't even need my last Pokemon. So we're at the top of uh, the hour here. It's a little bit after 2 p.m. And this team is looking mighty powerful. Of course, with two fairy types, not sure if bringing Latias is the best idea here. Um, although I can put in a decent amount of work because Mega Glalie can hit everything here, although I don't really want it to go up against Dusclops. Um, Mega Sableye is also pretty nice against this team. He doesn't, well, he can hit me with Play Rough, never mind. Although just regular Sableye can burn a lot of these things. That would be nice to have. Um, let's see. I don't think Azumarill is necessarily a great choice either. Although it would be nice to have against two of those pokes. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I think he's going to start off with either a Scarf Gardevoir or Scarf Salamence. And so I'm going to go ahead and start off with my Alakazam. I'm going to bring Alakazam for the Sash. I need the Ice Priority. Water Priority is also pretty useful here. So I'm going to bring Glalie as well. I can also hit Earthquake on Mawile, so that's nice. And then finally, we're gonna go for Sableye. Uh, just in case I have issues dealing with Melodic. Just in case, I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking there. I don't think he's gonna bring Melodic because of the chance that I might bring Breloom. But I don't really wanna bring Breloom. Although I did have my Lumberry on Breloom, so bringing Breloom actually would have been a better choice there. We'll find out if this works out. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. So he does start off with Gardevoir. So that means my Alakazam start works out very nicely. I can see if he's scarfed here. Uh, he's going to trace Magigar. That's not going to matter too much. I don't plan on burning him or anything. I wouldn't be too bothered with that. We're just going to Shadow Ball him in the face. I can see if he's scarfed or he's going to Mega Evolve. He is scarfed. That is good to know. Great. So he's going to hit me with the Moon Blast. That actually does a ton of damage. Wow. And since he did use Moon Blast... Ooh, I can do a KO him with a Shadow Ball. That's nice to know. We're going to go ahead and switch out into Glalie to get the free Mega Evolution. Because I should be able to get a nice Moody, hopefully I get a good Moody uh, swap here and pick up two stats on some good stat here. Because he has the Moon Blast again because he's definitely Scarfed. And Glalie can definitely take the hit. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Moody, what do we got? What do we got? Special Defense, ooh, that's not as useful. Oh man, my speed fell. That's definitely not good. Okay, that's okay though. We're going to go ahead and... Mega Evolve. I don't think I can actually KO him with. I may have lost this battle already, honestly, because of that, because my speed dropping right there. Uh, but that's okay. I definitely made a gamble there, if nothing else. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve, and just go for Ice Shard. There's no reason not to. He definitely outspeeds me with the Choice Scarf, even without my speed dropping. So I might be able to live a Moon Blast with my Special Defense sharply raised, but I doubt it just with how much damage that did. We're just going to go for the Ice Shard here on the off chance that we get a critical hit. Oh, so close. So very, very, very close. All right. Oh, and that unfortunately takes me out. And I definitely lost, because even if I burn it with uh, Sableye, he won't take the damage because he traced my Magic Arch. So yeah, this battle is over. That's okay, though. I definitely just chose the wrong Pokemon for that battle. I thought Gardevoir might be Scarfed, and I didn't think he would lead with it necessarily but well, you know that is what it is i hope that you guys are having a pretty good battle of hoenn so far i actually just finished recording a stride and radio episode if you haven't listened to stride and radio of course that is a podcast that i've been on several times over the past few years uh, and it's more of a general pokemon podcast it covers news and lots of different events um and also we talk about some competitive things when they happen so, uh, but it's pretty interesting. It's fun to be involved in that podcast. So, uh, 
but when we were talking about the Battle of Hoenn on the podcast, I was just generally speaking about um, how I I kind of just haven't really encountered anything that I didn't expect too much there. That was my fifth loss overall. I think I just had, and I just I really just brought the the wrong Pokemon to that battle. That was just I lost that battle as soon as I chose those Pokemon. But otherwise, generally, I, I'm really enjoying myself. I really wished I had gotten an attack boost or something off of that Moody. Because that was the only way I could have possibly won that one. Uh, is if I had gotten lucky off of that Moody boost. But, eh. I don't know for the future. At least not at the very least, not to leave with Mega Alakazam. Because then I could have burned it with Sableye. And then saved Mega Glalie. So, uh, we will know that for the future. I'm at 1654 right now. Definitely not bad. Our next opponent is from Japan. With uh, that's the first time I've seen Machamp, and oh man, we have to deal with Skarmory. That is highly annoying. Um, he has actually a relatively slow team here, which means he's susceptible to being put to sleep. Um, he has Skarmory, but other than that, he doesn't really have anything for Azumarill. So Azumarill and Breloom are definitely good shoe ins here. Uh, and if he didn't have Altaria. I would definitely consider bringing Mega Sableye, but since he has Altaria and Skarmory, I think that uh, it's going to be best to start with Azumarill, just in case he starts with Blaziken. And then, of course, I also have Breloom and Glalie. I think that's going to be good, because there's no sense in bringing Latios for Dragon Spam when he has um, not only the Skarmory, but two Fairy types. So we're going to go with Azumarill in the first slot, and then Breloom, and then Glalie. So hopefully that works out, and if it doesn't, we'll deal with that in a minute here. Uh, if he starts with Dust Noir, I can definitely switch to my Breloom and get the Lumberry to dodge the uh, the uh, Will-O-Wisp and then put him to sleep. So that's also an alternative method I can take there too. Um, I think that he's going to either start with Skarmori or Blaziken, just because they have really good matchups against my team but I don't care about Blazing in too much because I have Azumarill, so he does start with his own Azumarill, interestingly. Uh, I've been losing speed ties all this entire time, so I don't expect to win any speed ties, but uh, we're just going to go for... Uh, well, he might have... I don't really have a switch into Azumarill. Yeah, so we're kind of forced to go for play rough here. Let's just see what he is using. Uh, he's using Belly Drum, okay. I might kill him with the play rough. Hopefully I don't miss. Because he will definitely sweep my team. Because <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Alright, this should be... He has a weird HP number. And he did not get his Citrus Berry activated. Of course, make sure when you guys are using uh, Belly Drum Pokemon. Or even sometimes Substitute. You need to do the math to make sure when you lose 50% or 25% of your HP. That you get down to the HP number where it will activate the Berry. Because right there he could have very easily... Uh, he may have lived a play rough at 75% health, you never know. We're just gonna play rough again against the Machamp. Uh, hopefully, he's just gonna go for knockoff, which does get rid of my Assault Vest, which is annoying. But he didn't have too many special attackers, so it's not gonna matter too much for this battle. I managed to hit two play roughs in a row, which is amazing. I can dig it. Can you dig it? I can duck trio it. it really is, I, I love hitting two play roughs in a row. I have been missing those. So his last is, he did decide to go for the Blaziken. Uh, that is fine, because now we can just Aqua Jet it, so this battle is pretty much over. It's odd how in this battle, um, we see an exact flip of what we saw in my last battle. I think I actually could have won the last battle if I had just played it better. Uh, or at the very least not started with my Alakazam. But in this case, if he had just had the right HP number for his uh, Azumarill, this may have gone a little differently. I'm not sure how much, uh... I might have to do a damage calculation to see how much an Azumarill can do to another Azumarill with uh, access to the Belly Drum versus that, versus me just having my regular attack staff for Play Rough. But I'm pretty sure I still, I would have had a really good chance of KOing him even after a Citrus Berry. So, here I have no reason not to just keep on going for Aqua Jet. I don't think he can kill me in one hit unless he's randomly carrying... Okay, we have a Hidden Power here. What type of Hidden Power is it? It is not super effective. It's not very effective. I wonder what type of hidden power that was. I can understand it. Blaziken running something like hidden power. Uh, well, Blaziken doesn't have a lot of need for hidden power, actually. He has really good coverage. I really wonder what hidden power that was. It had to be either water uh, or maybe ice. 
Um, it could have been fighting, which it wouldn't make sense to run fighting, or fire. So I'm not really sure what hidden power that was, but thank you very much for that match as well. And now I'm back to kind of where I started since I won one 0 and three, and then I just lo uh, and then I lost one 0 and three. But yeah, I'm definitely okay with that. I, I definitely want to keep up my win ratio being three to one or higher. So uh, we're at 10 minutes right now. I'm just going to take a little break in the video here, and be sure to click over to part two. Alrighty.